Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're bringing you an exclusive interview from our sister channel Sound Mojo with legendary guitarist Steve Vai, where he talks about his experience working on the Halo 2 soundtrack. Check out the full interview on the Inner Sleeve podcast with the link in the description below. Halo 2 is another big thing that kept coming, the soundtrack. A lot of these kids, because, oh, really? you know, oh, the audience so is very young, you know, game-oriented audience in their 20s now, watching top 10s and and the whole pop culture. So a lot of them grew up listening to, playing video games, listening to Steve Vai, yeah. and that's how they discovered you. Yeah. 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 So, like, uh, some of them were asking, like, you know, how did that come about, that collaboration with them? Would they reached out to you, or was it something that you were looking to do? Or have you done anything since, like, with other gaming soundtracks? I... Uh, the other stuff that I've done with gaming soundtracks were when the company would reach out to me and say, can we use this song in our game? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know? And the funny thing, too. yeah, that happened for, I, I don't remember, you know, like I would look at it and make sure the deal felt good. Mm -hmm. And some of them, some of them were like windfalls. They made a lot of money. I think one of yeah. them, I don't know the games very well. You have to forgive me, but uh, I think like Grand Theft Auto. That's and, what I was just going to say that it had to be Grand Theft. <laughs> That was one, and then there was one guitar, guitar band, oh, guitar hero, or guitar, or guitar like, band, guitar hero, and guitar mm. band. You know what was really funny about the guitar hero was they they uh, licensed uh, for the love of God, I think, <laughs> and I was playing it with my with my boys, and they're just kicking my ass. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's weird because <laughs> I tried song. to play this thing, and it's not it's not normal, right? You like, yeah. As a guitar player, you know where to go, but this is like, this is weird. I can't yeah, play this. Yeah, but it's funny <laughs> to see them kicking my ass on my song. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. then, I, uh, because I was much older, uh, the the I never really, I loved the, the video game thing when I was introducing my kids to it and playing with them, but I never really was a gamer. But the the it created a whole subculture and music was a part of it. And luckily, or interestingly enough, orchestral music was incorporated into video games. And that was nice because uh, recording orchestral music for soundtracks is, is very expensive. And mm -hmm. TV and movie were moving away from it because it was so, you know, not part of their budget, but the gaming industry was rich. So oh, yeah. they had all of these wonderful orchestral pieces. And then, of course, they want to contemporize them. So uh, my, my dear friend Niall Rogers was working on uh, the soundtrack to... Halo, I think. Halo. And yeah. it was the first one. It was the second Halo. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I had heard the about the game. I didn't really know much about it. I know my kids liked it, and I knew that it was the biggest game in the planet, you know? Yeah. So I was on tour and Niall called me and he's, uh, we just happened to be both in Seattle at the same time. He was recording in a studio and I was coming into town and I was playing and he asked me to come down and play uh, on the video game soundtrack. And at first I thought, uh, I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if I could fit into that kind of world. But um, they also needed somebody that could read music. Um, okay. So because it was Niall, I'm like, I'm there. <laughs> because he always works on... Very, Legendary stuff. <laughs> yeah, interesting, creative stuff. And it's always like, what's Niall working on now? Because whatever it is, it's going to be big. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you don't say no to Niall. You don't say no. So I found myself in the studio with him having just a blast, you know, just tearing it up and... And the funny thing is, when we're in the studio there, um, I'm I'm doing the stuff, and and I call my my boys, right? And I said, hey, I'm I'm working on the soundtrack for this game, you know, this video game. And they're like, well, what's the name of the game? And I'm like, I'm like, what? Now, what's the, what's the name of this game again? You know? <laughs> and Niall goes to me, Steve, this is Halo. This is the biggest game in the world. You know? I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know. So if you say so. Yeah. Say so, okay. You know. And I said. It's Halo, a game called Halo. And there was just like radio silence. It was like dead silence. I'm like, <laughs> hello? And they're like, Halo? You're playing on Halo? And I'm yeah, like, yeah. It's like the first time that they thought I Cared. was, a, uh, I thought I was cool, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So we did that, and that was a lot of fun. And then they did the third one, which was like, I think, a 10th anniversary. And that was real fun, too. They asked me to be a part of that. And they recorded that up at uh, Lucas Ranch oh, yeah. in Northern California. So that that was really great. And, you know, I will admit that it's it's a, it was a surprise for me to see how many um, people, you know, uh, young oh, people. World over. I love know, it. They mentioned that game, and yeah. Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.